Hi everybody, and how are you doing today? Razzmatazz hands, cause we are ready to go with the support sale. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and we are so glad to have you here and when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you because this is your channel with much as it is my channel and we welcome you here with open arms and we're so glad that you're here. So, you know, come on in, pull up a chair, grab you a little soda, a little snack, a little coffee, a little wine, you know, whatever your time of your day may be because today, guys, we, it is that time of year again. We are into the Sephora sale. We are into um, March favorites. We've got a lot going on. So, um, if you're interested in hearing my March favorites mixed in with my Sephora and what I suggest for you guys, um, we're going to go online. We're going to have to check out of my loves, what I've got in my box, you know, check out some new things. Um, then stick around and let's find out together. guys so let's get started i'm not gonna ramble just promise i promise we're not gonna ramble this time around i'm just gonna say that we're gonna throw in march favorites mixed in with sephora so i'm gonna go backwards and forwards um so there's gonna be there's one or two items that are on my march favorites that are not in sephora so um but i do want to throw them out there because i decided to do two videos combined together i just thought it would be a lot easier on me as well as you um because i just a lot of these i was gonna go over again in march favorites so i was like well what the hell i'll just go ahead and do them all at one time so so let's dive into the two that are not, and I think they're just the two that are not included in the Sephora or Om Sephora. And that would be the Clay de Poe Cream Foundation, Radiant Cream Foundation in the tube that's $130. Of course, you know, I got a sample, so I mean, it, but um, I will leave it up here below, uh, up here in the, up here. <laughs> so you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, if you want to catch that, that was the video previously before this one. And guys, I'm telling you, that is such a beautiful foundation. So gorgeous. I um, mean, so if you have normal to dry skin, I definitely, it's worth a check out. I definitely would go and check it out. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, it does leave a beautiful coverage. It stays on all day. It's a beautiful medium, medium to light coverage. Um, it's a very radiant, glowy, finished look to the skin. Your skin looks so healthy, so beautiful. I definitely recommend it if you have dry skin. I don't recommend it to you if you're more normal to oily. I would go to the, if you want to try Clay de Poe, I would go to the matte or maybe one of the uh, the radiant foundation, but I definitely would not do that one. And then also the other thing that I wanted to mention is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think it's the translucent, loose, translucent type, type loose pack. It's like about 500 words. <laughs> I always forget it. It's like they melt so long. It's the loose translucent. It's the one with a little bit more of the glow to it. Not the matte ones, but the but the more of the transparent one that has got the glow in it. Um, now, they do have one of the matte. It's all really beautiful and you're great, especially if you're more oilier. That would be more for you or if you may, maybe want to go with the pressed powder. But if you are normal to dry or if you are a light normal combination or if you just want a light glow to the skin but you want your makeup to set down really, really well, I definitely suggest this loose powder. It is absolutely amazing. It's very translucent, so anyone can wear it, I think, with any skin type um, or a tone um, or intensity. I think it would work great because it's just more of a transparent, but it just gives your skin like a little bit more of a glow to it. It's very soft. It's very blurred. It's really, really beautiful. Um, so, with that said, those are out of the way, so we're going to push those over, and then now we're going to get into my Sephora favorite. So, um, so we're going to kind of mix in a little bit of the March in with it, so we're going to just talk about it as we kind of go. The first, I thought we would kind of talk a little bit about some of the complexion and what I kind of suggest in complexion that I thought that's really new that I've also loved in March as well. The first thing I wanted to throw up is this Guerlain foundation, and this is the Lingerie de Peau um, by Guerlain, and this is the, um, with Guerlain. Guerlain. I heard somebody pronounce it Guerlain, and I love the way that they say it. It's so beautiful. Um, I know if any of my French people are watching, I know I'm butchering that, but just... <laughs> Southern, I'm trying, you know. But um, anyway, this is such a beautiful, luminous foundation. This reminds me a lot of the Clay de Peau, the Radiant. They're very similar. They have a very similar texture. They feel very similar. Also, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, it also feels like that. But this is such a beautiful foundation. Um, uh, Rissa does makeup. She actually she actually kind of got me hooked on this. So, um, I love, love, love it. It's absolutely beautiful. It stays on really well all day. When it does start 
start to wear down, it wears down a more natural um, feel to it. I got it in the shade 4C. I actually probably, I had to pick it up at Neiman's because this 4 I didn't actually have my shade in it. Um, but I probably wish I would have got a little bit of a darker shade. It does come off a little light. So just remember that when you're purchasing a shade, if you do decide to get it. Um, you know, but this is great because they do have it on the Sephora site. Definitely so check it out. I mean, it's a great foundation. It was 20% off because I think it's right around the $65 mark or something like $65. $75 mark. So it is great to get an extra discount on. The next one that I want to talk about is the um it's the Nessa Myra Yummy Skin. This is a beautiful tint. It's well, it's it's supposed to be kind of like a, a really yummy skin tinted type of well, not a tinted, but kind of like that gives you that glow. But guys, let me tell you, she gives some full coverage, okay? Like a medium, I would say medium, high medium to a, almost to a full. You can really build this up. The only thing is I want to say that it does have a little bit of this kind of a smell to it. And the smell bothered me a little bit in the beginning. Um, but that's the only thing I don't like about it. Um, and I usually love smells in my foundation, but it's something about this one that I'm not super, super crazy about. But I love the foundation. It's really great, but it does leave a tack on the skin. It doesn't really necessarily dry down, even if you powder it. Um, so, but for me, and I've heard a lot of mixed results with this foundation, for me, it works really well. It stays on really well all day. It lasts all day. I mean, even and usually when I wash my skin at night, I normally don't have anything on my skin when I wash it. It's usually all of the makeup is gone. It's usually like, it's I don't know what happens to it. It just sucks into my skin. So when I cleanse, it looks like there's nothing coming down the sink at all. Like, there's nothing. It just looked like all of it just disappeared in my skin. This one doesn't. So, it actually means that it actually did stay on my skin. So, I really have been enjoying this. It's a really beautiful foundation. It's also um, it's also refillable. So, you can actually, you can just buy the refill. Um, so, that is great, too. Um, so, if you just want to, you know, check it out. And it's not that, not too expensive. I think it's like the $29 or $34 mark. So, it's not too expensive. So, it's a really good one to check out during the sale, too. And then, um, this brings me to my next one. And this is what I have on now. This is the Patrick Star um, One Size Beauty Turn Up the Base a BBB Cream. And I have it in, this is in the shade medium too. Again, I'm getting a little bit more darker. This is a little bit, it's a little light, but I, but I bet it's bronzer and stuff on, so it's not so bad. But um, this is such a good, good, good product. I mean, I didn't really think being dry that I was going to like it. I do think it would benefit better from more normal, normal to oily, normal to combination, and then oily. I think they would like it more because it does like that blurred. It does have a, like a soft matte finish to it. But if you do a good skincare and a good highlight over top of it, it looks really beautiful. And if you do, if you prep really well for it, I think you would really, really enjoy it. Um, it is a kind of a great, um, easy out the door type product. Um, you can build it a little bit. For me, I couldn't build it that much. The more I built it, the more it looked cakey. I think a one and done, like this morning, I just did it with my fingers. I just came from work and I'm sitting down doing this. So um, I've had it on all day. I kind of touched it up just a little bit with some powder and a little bit of concealer because I did a little something on my eyes. But um, but this is just a great product. I've really, really enjoyed it. I have been reaching for it. I didn't think I was going to like it and I ended up really liking it. So this is a great um, product. If you're interested and you're looking for something kind of quick and easy with that soft, blurred, blurred, bleh, blurred matte type finish, then I definitely would give this a check out too. And it's not too expensive. I think it's around, again, it's around that $34, $35 mark. Um, so I definitely would check it out. So this is not a March favorite, but this is the Sephora recommendation. And I definitely re recommend, is this the Milk Hydro Grip Primer? This is not a new product to anyone. This has been on the market for quite some time, but this is such a good primer. And I got to tell you guys, for somebody with dry skin, usually these kind of primers, I'm not super crazy about, but this one I love. It makes everything stick much better. Um, I just really have been really, really enjoying it. This is, I think it's around the 42, 30 some dollar mark. I mean, I will leave it all down below. I mean, it'll be all in my uh, description box down below. But I mean, but it is a really good product. So if you're looking for a really good primer and you want something that's going to stick and make your makeup stay on really, really well, I definitely recommend the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's really awesome. The next thing um, I would probably mention why I'm kind of in this uh, little bit of the primer situation um, is if you want a really beautiful, flawless, underneath, like if you don't even want to wear makeup sometimes and you want something that's going to make your skin look really, really beautiful all day long and it looks great, even if you don't wear foundation over it or you don't want to put it, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Let me tell you, girl, guy, girl, girl, whoever, whoever be watching, 
going to tell you. Let's sit down and have a little chit chat, okay? Um, this stuff, let me tell you, I have four and I have five. So this one is shade four medium and then I also have the tan. So what I do is I take four a little bit under my eyes and a little bit here and then I take tan and I go around the edges and I just kind of blend it. Then I just take my fingers sometimes and just blend it together and I do do it with the brush sometimes. So it just depends, it depends on my mood. But I just take it and just blend it in all together. Let me tell you, with no powder, no nothing, out the door, go like that, my skin looks so good. I get so many compliments every time I just do this Hollywood Flawless Filter and don't do anything else. I'm telling you, this shit is magic. I don't know what the hell she, what kind of potion did you put in this, Charlotte? Come on, tell us. Give us a secret, girl. Let me tell you, it is wonderful. It is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very stunning. I definitely would check it out. If you've never tried it, I definitely would go in and swatch it. Pick out a shade for yourself. This is beautiful under foundation, over top of foundation. It's just absolutely stunning. So I definitely would recommend this one. Um, by the way, guys, I don't really know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try my best to get through it as quickly as possible, but this is recommendations and palettes and all this other stuff, so it may be a little bit more of a long one again, so again, I won't have time stamps in this one. This is going to be too much to do time stamps, so you guys will just have to kind of search through what you're looking for, because <laughs> I will be able to help you on this one, but, um, you know, but anyway, moving on. Moving on to the next one. So, the next primer I just want to mention real quick is the Bobbi Brown and Vitamin Rich Face Base. If you've, um, if you're new to my channel, this is, um, this is, or if you're older than my channel, you know this is not new to me. I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. It's a great primer to put up underneath it. I actually use this and this together. I'll put this on first and then put this over top of it. Um, and it just works great together because I'm a primer freak. So I love doing a lot of primer. I love doing this with the Charlotte Tilbury over top of it. Um, I mix vice versa. I mean, you know, I like to mix all things up and I have a lot of different primers and there's actually another one that I'm going to go into a little bit later, but this is just a great primer. I just absolutely Absolutely love it. It's just wonderful. It smells wonderful. It feels wonderful. It plumps your skin up. It's but it but it leaves your skin hydrated. But it doesn't make it feel too sticky or too, um, you know, too um greasy or anything like that. It just makes it feel really really nice. But when you put it on, it feels like it's going to go in really thick. But it's just a great beautiful primer. If you've never checked it out, I mean, out of Bobby Brown's, this is one of her best products that I think she's ever made. I mean, it's absolutely great. I definitely would give this a check out too. These are the Merit Beauty lipsticks. I definitely recommend these to you guys if you're definitely looking for a cruelty-free lipstick, if you're looking for something that is very beautiful. I have on the shade, this is the shade Millennial. I love it. This is such a beautiful lipstick shade. It's so pretty. They feel really good on the lips. They're so awesome. I was blessed to get these in PR. Um, they sent these to me. Um, I also have this in the shade Cabo. They're beautiful lipsticks. So if you're looking for a really, really good lipstick, but you're looking for something cruelty-free, something really moisturizing and hydrating, um, fragrance-free, doesn't have any, you know, any kind of um, ingredients in it that may bother you, and you have problems with your lips and a lot of fragrances and things that's bothered you, these would be great lipsticks to pick up. I do recommend those. I also recommend the Sephora. Sephora pencils. Um, this, these are the ultimate gel eyeliners. You guys, these pencils, are, I think they're like $10, I think. And you know, with 20% off, and I think if you get Sephora, you get 30% off if you're if you're rouge. Um, so you get 30% off of these. So this would be like almost practically nothing. You could get quite a few of these. These are wonderful waterproof gel liners. I'm telling you, they are so good. They beat some of a lot of really expensive eyeliners. So if you're looking for a really good eyeliner, but you don't want to break the bank, and you want to get some that a, a couple few colors in it, like this one is actually in the shade. Um, they're actually waterproof too, which I forgot. This is the navy shimmer. Um, and they're twistable. They come out like that. Um, they have a little sharpener on the end of them. So if you want to sharpen them for more of a wing look, but they're just super, super beautiful. They're so creamy. They go really super easy. Great in the waterline. I definitely recommend these. They're really great, especially if you're, if you tear a lot or you need something that's going to stay on really good. These are really awesome and they don't break the bank too. Um, and then the Gwen Stefani, the Give. This is the eyebrow pencil. So this is another March favorite. Um, I actually really ended up liking this eyebrow pencil. I 
don't have it on now, obviously. Um, but this is the shade two. Um, and it comes, you know, it comes with the little spoolie on the end. And then, of course, you've got your, you, it twists out. It's a very, um, it's, it's kind of one that kind of is more pointed. It's more, kind of more direct to fit in it. But let me tell you, it gives a really good pigment. It, the payoff is really great. You don't have to, like, it's not like the Huda Bomb Brow where you can, like, you have to do itty B little shirt. Or if you don't, you'll run out of it really, really quick. There's quite a bit in the, actually, in the application or in the applicator. So, you've got quite a bit. It twists up and down. Um, you know, it's just a really good pencil. It's really great. I think they're $24, um, $23, $24. It's really, really good. She has some really cute stuff in her brand. If you're in Sephora and you just want to just look at her brand, it's really cute. I mean, if you're looking for a really good red, her reds stay on really good. But she's got a really good eyebrow pencil. I think you would really, really enjoy it. Um, so, moving on to brands. So, we're, the first brand we're going to go through is Charlotte Tilbury. And that's um, discounting the Hollywood follows filters. So if you count that, there'd be four products, but we're just going to talk about three. One is, um, if you've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood, uh, this is the um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Look at them, the Hollywood Flawless Powder. <laughs> crazy today. It's been a long day today. Um, so anyway, this is, I have this in the shade medium. I'm going to show you guys because I'm about out of it. So I'm getting down to that nitty gritty in it. So it's about time for me to get another one. But this is such a beautiful fine filled powder. It just makes everything blurred and so beautiful. It just makes everything look so good. It sets your makeup really beautifully. It does it without caking or you know, if you just want to fill everything in. There's so many people that love this powder and there's a reason for it because it's a great, great product. Um, so, I definitely would recommend checking this out if, you've, if you're if you looking for a really good pressed powder or something just to lightly set your makeup with. Whether you're normal, you're dry, you're combat, or you're oily, I think you would really enjoy this because it's a great powder. I definitely do not like her loose powder. So, I mean, I would I would skip over the loose. I would go to one of the other ones that I'm going to recommend, but this is definitely a great pressed powder for you. So, if you've, if you've never tried it, it would be a great time to pick it up. Um, so, the next one would be the Love Gasm Powder. Now, I have this in the Glowgasm palette, but the Lovegasm is actually, um, she actually has it on the, on the site, and I think it's actually in stores too, but see, mine is a little bit darker. They don't make this one anymore, but the Lovegasm or the... The, I'm sorry, the Nude Gasm. Why am I keep calling it the Love Gasm? It's the Nude Gasm Bronze Sculpting Glow Face Palette. It is really, really beautiful. They're great because it gives you a highlight, it gives you a multi glow, it gives you a bronzer, and it gives you like a pop of blush on it. Um, they're seventy five dollars. She's not really cheap, but if you get it on the Sephora sale, it's great. It's a great little palette. It's great to travel with. It's, you can even use them as shadow. Um, you can use it all over. It's just a really beautiful palette. It is great to carry around and just have. It's a nice, beautiful way feel. The packaging is really beautiful. Um, so, I would definitely give this a check out. And, of course, my favorite product in Charlotte Tilbury is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This setting spray is gorgeous. I have it on my skin now. I spray my whole face with it. It's really, really beautiful. Whether you're normal, you're dry, you're oily, your combo, this is a great setting spray that stays all day. It makes such a big difference when you spray your skin with it. It makes your skin look hydrated. It gives it like a beautiful little bit of a radiance, but yet it doesn't make you look oily. Um, it makes everything, it takes all the texture down. It is such a good, good product and it makes it stay on all day. So it does give a really good set with it. So I definitely would recommend this. They also have this in travel sizes as well. And I wanted to mention that also in the Flawless Filter, they also have these in travel sizes as well in some of the popular shades. So definitely if you want more of a smaller size, then, then get you a travel size. If you want to try this and you've never tried it, then get the travel size. I think that would be a really good time to check it out too, to see if you're going to like it or not. But I love this spray. It's, I, I swear by this spray up and down. This is like my fourth or fifth one. I absolutely love it. Um, so that, it's definitely recommended. Now we're going to go into Huda Beauty. Now, there is a lot of Huda Beauty that I absolutely love. I absolutely love her powders. I love her foundations. I love the glow-ish. I love her wishful skincare, um, her mascara. If you ever want to check out Huda, you can't go wrong with a lot of her products. Her lipsticks are beautiful. Her lip liners are great. Her um, uh, A lot of her, her brow products are great. Um, but there's two products that I definitely want you guys to check out if you are, especially if you are normal combination, normal oily. Um, you definitely need to check out the, um, the Huda Easy Bake uh, Loose and Setting uh, Baking Powders. So, so good. This one is in the shape 
shade Cherry Blossom Cake. This is in the newest shade. This is also a March favorite of mine. I absolutely love it. I have it on now. Um, this one, for some reason, guys, is not, I don't feel it's as, as super as matte as the other ones are. The Pound Cake, I have Pound Cake or I have Cupcake. I have one of those. I can't remember which one it is. But I absolutely love these powders. This is a beautiful powder. This just came back into stock again, too. So, it was sold out. So, now it is back in stock again. So, I definitely, if you like something with a little bit of a pink to it, you like a little bit of a, just a little bit of that, a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a light glow or something and underneath your eyes, a little bit above the, um, above on the forehead or a little bit on the chin. This is a great, great powder for setting or baking. Um, also her other loose powders are wonderful. She's got some great shade selections in it. The only thing is that with hers is that she does have a little bit of a fragrance in it. I love the fragrance. If she took the fragrance out, I would not like using a powder. The, the fragrance is actually one of the reasons why I love using a powder, but I love it. I just think it's a great powder. It's absolutely amazing. And then the other thing that um, that she also has too is the Huda. This is the um, Life Liner Quick and Easy. This is the most easiest liquid liner. If you've never tried it, the, the pen is very, very super simple. It's very, very quick. Very, very easy. Very, very light. You can do it in little light strokes. It's, you know, because sometimes liquid liners can be very, very hard to maneuver. They're very hard to use. Some people can't use them. They have to use a brush instead or do a pencil with a brush. They can't really do a liquid liner. If you're a beginner and you really want to try lining your um, eyes with it in a really good long wear, stays on all day. It's pretty much waterproof. It's a great, great liner. And not only that, but it's not too expensive either. I want to say it's like $23. I could look it up. I've got Four right on my past. But, but anyway, but it is a really, really good liquid liner. So if you are looking for a good liquid liner, this is a really good one to do it without really completely breaking a bank. Um, not only do I love the Huda Beauty powder, but I also love the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. I have mine in the shade Three Bull Rose. I absolutely love this powder. Again, it's a lot like the Huda. Um, it's a little bit, it also has a little bit of a smell to it because it is Givenchy, um, but it is so beautiful. It leaves a beautiful light on the skin. Um, it's actually, it's, it leaves a beautiful matte finish on the skin. If you love the bake, they have these in different shades because it has actually three different, uh, four different components. Um, you know, each one has a different shade of the color in the inside of it. So each, you're getting a blend of each and then you put it, you shake it and it blends together. Um, and it leaves the most beautiful look underneath the eyes or on the face to set the face with. It's absolutely beautiful. I definitely recommend, again, for someone that's normal, um, you can use it if you're dry, just very sparingly, just like the Huda, this one, you have to be very sparing with if you're dry, but if you're normal, if you're combination, if you're oily, you would absolutely love this. It, it is a beautiful um, matte blurring effect without clogging your pores or making your skin look cakey. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the other one is, especially if you're dry, is the Armani Luminous, um, this is the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry, mine got a big, I don't know what happened to that. I have no idea. But it leaves the most beautiful glow on the skin. It just makes the skin look so beautiful, so radiant. They have this in a couple different shades. Um, so if you want to just set your makeup with a little bit of radiance, kind of like what I was talking about with the Estee Lauder powder, you would love this. It's absolutely stunning. Um, they are, they're a little bit expensive. I think they're around the 65 maybe. They're around the Gucci price range, I think. But it, with the sale, it's a great time to pick it up. But it sets really beautifully underneath the eyes. It's really beautiful on the skin. Um, I have a little bit dusted that liver my skin is absolutely beautiful. I love this powder. This was one of this was in my top powder list of last year. So this is still a favorite. Um, as well as another one I will be talking about a little bit later, but this is the Jouer Bronzing Duo. Now, this reminds me a lot of the Victoria Beckham Bronzing Duo. So, if you never tried Victoria Beckham's Bronzing Duo, but it may, or maybe hers might be a little bit too expensive for you, this one may be better for you, but this one is just so beautiful. It's actually $32, um, and it comes, it comes in only three shades, or three different shades, but it has two in the inside of it. This one's actually the Medium to Deep Bronzing Duo. Um, and this is Sun Kissed and Sunset. The only thing is, I don't think even, there's a darker one. I feel like there should be one more a little bit darker. Um, but it is just a beautiful, I have it on my skin. It just makes your skin, like, it's this beautiful, it's like a matte, but like a little bit of a glow to the skin. But it is just so beautiful on the skin. 
Not only that, but the Jouer is a beautiful line. They do have, there's a lot of things in their line I can't use uh, because there's a lot of, they use to have a lot of matte products, but I love this bronzer. When I first got it, I was like, oh, it's going to be like really matte. I'm not really care about it or whatever. And I've been using it. I'm like so stuck on it. I love, love, love this bronzer. Such a good bronzer. I definitely, it's definitely worth a shot to look at. I don't know if all the stores carry it. You might have to get it online, but it is a great bronzer to have. Now, another favorite this month, and this is the Dior Attic Lipsticks. If you guys, again, I will rant and rave again, and I know, you know, I work for Dior. I know, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I might as well just become a Dior channel because... <laughs> I'm just going to be branding and raving about Dior. So, if you're new to my channel and you don't like Dior, then it's not a channel for you. Um, but anyway, I love these lipsticks. They are so beautiful, so stunning. This is in the shade Tie and Dior. Um, I did my latest video. I just talked about how wonderful they are, how great. We went over to shades. I swatched all the shades for you to see. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Such a great pickup. I think they're around $39. They're so worth it, though. They have so many beautiful shades. If you get anything in the Sephora sale, I definitely highly recommend, this is the most highly recommended out of everything, this is the one thing that you need to have. If you do not have a Dior lipstick and you want to try Dior, this is the time to try it because let me tell you, the lip is so creamy, it's so beautiful, it's glossy, but yet it stays, it doesn't travel everywhere. The color selection is absolutely stunning. Beautiful, um, beautiful rosewood shades, pink shades, mauve shades, coral shades, red shades, berry shades, everything you can think of, brown, um, just all kinds of beautiful shades. It's just, you definitely need to check it out. It's just so worth checking out. Um, another one I'd recommend is this Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Absolutely beautiful. Great concealer. Covers everything. Now, I usually do mix mine with another concealer, like a little bit of a lighter, because this one is actually in the shade 4C. I think it's in 3CR. I will usually mix it with just a little bit of a lighter one or something a little bit more creamier, but I love this concealer. It is so, so beautiful. It is a great concealer. So if you're looking for a good concealer to pick up, a good medium to a lot of maybe a getting close to a full concealer, I think you would really enjoy this one. It leaves a really beautiful natural finish on the skin. I think it's really awesome. It's worth your, it's definitely worth a chance. It's really big. It's really awesome. It has a really big doe fit. It's such a good concealer. I think you would love it. Um, next is the Dior. Um, this is the Blackout Mascara absolutely stunning. It's so awesome. It is really beautiful. It leaves a really beautiful, thick, black, dark lash, but very luscious. You control it by pumping it and then pulling it out. So, when you squeeze it, it pulls out the excess, but you can pump it to get as much on it as you want. Um, just be careful because you don't want to over pump because it can't get too much, but it's absolutely a great mascara. Um, another thing I recommend from Dior is their blushes. Um, there is two blush shades. One is 999 and one is Poison, and this is 962. It is a matte. This is a tester. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, I do work with the company. So, I mean, but it is a beautiful, see how beautiful that is? It's a beautiful matte. It's a beautiful satin matte. It's on the skin, and it gives the most beautiful flush of, like, this pinky, plum, gorgeousness all on the skin, but it makes the skin actually have a little bit of a glow underneath it. So beautiful. Um, I think the blushes are around 40, 45, I believe, for the Dior blushes, maybe 50, but they are so good. It's a really beautiful blush. It goes with everything, too. It kind of blends in with everything. Um, and then, of course, last but not least is the Dior. This is the Dior um, Powder No Powder from the Dior Show. It's only exclusive to Sephora and on Dior.com, but this powder, man, I've got it all over my skin. I put it over top of the Patrick Star. It makes your skin look absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely when you use it though, you need to use it with a puff. Do not use it with the brush because if you use it with the brush, it's just going to sweep over. You're not going to get the concentration that you want. You want to make sure you put it down in it and you go and you press it into the skin. You get this beautiful, flawless looking skin. Regardless of what your foundation may look like, this will make it look better. It makes it look beautiful, but it doesn't make it look too matte. It doesn't make it look too natural. It doesn't make it look too glowy. It's like Goldilocks is just right. It's such a beautiful powder. I have this in two shades. It's absolutely gorgeous. I definitely recommend this, especially if you're 
dry, normal, normal combination. I think you would really like it. Oily skins, I think you would need something a little bit more matte, just a little bit more ump to it. I don't think it would give you enough ump. I think it would make you feel like it's not enough, but um, but it is a great powder. Definitely worth the pickup. Keep it, I'm trying to keep it going here, guys, because we got, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm getting into it. So I didn't get to do one for holiday, so I'm getting into it. I'm loving it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Rare Beauty. Okay, so I definitely recommend the Rare Beauty. This is the Illuminating Primer. If you guys are looking for a very good, natural, uh, not breaking the bank type of a primer, this is it. It is so pretty. It is like really beautiful. I know my hands are going to be all marked up, but I mean, but it is so beautiful. Look how radiant that is, how beautiful and radiant that is on the skin. It's just so pretty. Even if you only do your outer perimeters of, with it, it just makes your makeup. It doesn't have, it doesn't have too much of a stick. It has a little bit, but not a lot, but it just leaves your skin really healthy and glowy. There's no fragrance to it or anything. It's just a really, really beautiful primer. Um, the next thing is the uh, Pinch Liquid Blushes, and they're actually $20, and this one is in the shade Grateful, but she has, um, there's quite a few. There's like almost eight shades in the Radiant, and then there's about four shades in the matte. These are great, guys. Like, when I tell you, if you want a cream blush and you don't need a lot of this, this blush goes a long way. Like, you use like a dot. Look at that. And then look at the pigment. Look at that. Look how much pigment's in that. And it's so beautiful. You can actually use them even sometimes, uh, maybe not this one on your lid, but you can use some of them on your lid really quick as an eyeshadow because they kind of dry down a little bit to a soft, light finish. Um, you can use them as a lipstick even if you're in a pinch. I mean, they are just really beautiful. But you can see that even what I did, the little bit of the stain that it leaves, they're extremely pigmented. Now, she also has the ones in the little compact. They're really cute too. I don't, they don't stay on me well. They're cute and I like it and it's kind of cute for a moment, but they don't stay on. These stay on all day. These give a color and they stay and it stains. So, to me personally, these are much better than the other ones. But I mean, but definitely if you're in store, I would definitely check them out and see which one works better for you. But they're both really beautiful, but I love these. They're so good. And then so, so, so good. And then, um, uh, then there's two more items in the Rare Beauty, and that one is the, I, this is another March favorite. Um, this one is the Rare Beauty. This is the Always Sunny. Um, and these bronzers are absolutely amazing. They come in only, there's only a couple shades. She needs some more shades, and I'm hoping that she comes up with more shades. There are two right now that are out of stock on the website. This one is the one Always Sunny. I absolutely love these guys. It's really super easy. You take a little bit, blend it. If they're super blendable. They're super super creamy. They're super pigmented. And when I got it, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I absolutely love this. I'm so addicted to it. I've been using it a lot during the day. So this is actually right now between this and the Jouer, I've been really going backwards and forwards between them, but I really love this. It's really quick and easy too. It's great if you want something really quick to give you like a little bit of, um, a little bit of bronzer with a little bit of slash, not contour, but a little bit of something. Um, but I'm really looking forward to her new tint too. She's getting ready to come up with a skin tint which actually comes out as we're filming this. I'll be probably, it's coming out tomorrow or Friday, but definitely pick this up. If you have not tried these yet, they're only $23. Um, if you, or at least if you're in the store, so watch it to see what you think. But I really like them. The colors are a little, you know, unique. Um, Cause again, there's only five of them. Right now on the site, they're showing that all, there's two of them that are not there, but maybe in the store they might have some, but I it's definitely worth a check out. I would definitely check that out. And I would also check out these luminizers. Oh my God, this transcend. I've been like crazy with this thing. I've got it all over my face today, but it is just, look at that. Beautiful. Look how wet that is. How beautiful and light it is. It is so beautiful. These are great. Um, I'm sure they're like $20, I think, or something like that. Again, I'm like right for the computer. I could look, but they're really awesome. If you're looking for a really beautiful, lightweight liquid highlighter, if you like the, I mean, I love my Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow. That's one of my favorite highlights lighters that I use all the time. This one feels very similar to it. So I'm really enjoying it because they feel very similar to each other. They're very like that very kind of dewy wet feel to them. You can put this up underneath foundation. You can put it over top of foundation. 
absolutely gorgeous. Such a beautiful liquid highlight. There's a couple few shades in it. So this one is in Transcend with a little bit more of a goldy type, a little bit more of a peachy gold, rose gold color. Uh, but, but definitely check out some of these. There is really worth your time and your money. I would definitely recommend it. So now I'm going to recommend some palettes for you guys. So we're going to kind of talk in a little bit about palettes. Um, I have a little bit here from, um, I've got a little bit here from, well, actually before palettes, I do want to kind of mention this about Patrick Ta. So Patrick Ta, this is, I have all of his blushes that came in the holiday palettes, but now they sell them separate. So, each one of these are sold separately. If you guys have not tried a Patrick Ta blush with a cream, um, definitely recommend. It's definitely recommend. You can't go wrong. I mean, all of them sheets out. So, LA, the, um, the other one, the one, the really pretty coral one, any of the punchy ones, this one, the other new one, they're all really beautiful. They're great. Now, they don't make this anymore, but they do make them separate now. So, definitely check it out. And I also said that he's coming out with a, another palette. I'm trying to think about that one. I saw it. It looked very similar to the other one, his other one. I never really use it much, so I don't know about that. I'm thinking about that, but I did see that. Um, it's coming out this week, but um, and that may be something if you want to try one of his eyeshadow palette. His eyeshadow palette is great, and um, his other one is really nice. But I definitely would recommend the blushes. His blushes are great. I don't recommend the lip, the lip tint or the lip, the the ones that kind of like have a little bit of a tingle to them. Don't do that. Because I tried it in the store and it, it tastes really gross. It's got a gross taste. <laughs> I was like, ew, this is kind of yucky. I wasn't really, I wasn't feeling that. So don't pick those up. That's for sure. Don't pick those up. Um, another two palettes. I just did a video with this. This is the Born This Way, the Natural Nude Palette. Another favorite of the month. Um, this is just a beautiful nude palette. They are coming out with a new, um, it's a sunset one or sun strip or something like that. I can't remember, but I would skip that one. Because it's like, they're very similar. And if you have this one already, you don't need that one. But if you don't have this one and you're looking for a really good nude palette and you don't want to break the bank, it's $49. Um, it's really awesome. It's great. The nudes in it, the mattes are great. Um, you know, the shimmers are a little bit more on the chunkier side, but it is a Too Faced palette. Um, but it is really great. The other palette is also from Too Faced. And this is the Too Thin palette. If you want a really cute little spring palette, this is like um, $35, $35, $39. It's so cute. Beautiful little shades in it. Be beautiful pigment. Great for what it does. Um, if you don't want to do the Natasha Denona, but you want a little pastel, but you want more nudes in it or something a little bit more neutral, I would go with this one instead of the Natasha Denona. But the Natasha Denona, she is on here. So we are going to recommend Natasha Denona. If you are looking for a really beautiful pastel palette, I have, um, I have on the shade, um, uh, Adriatic and Mint Frost. I have it on my lid and I mixed in a little bit of the, um, with the Too Faced. I did a little bit of one or two of the colors here in the crease to kind of give a little bit of density to it with mascara. Um, and it's just a beautiful pastel palette. But if you don't like pastels, I would, I would go, if you want a little something with pastel in it, I would go with this one. If you're looking for a total pastel palette, the one to add to your collection, if you already have Natasha Denone's Glam, or you have Retro, or you have, you know, one of the other ones with some browns in it, some brown tones in it, I would definitely, this would be a nice addition to add to that. So you could add little pops of color like this, just in, in little places. Um, but I wouldn't, like, if you don't really care for color, or it's not your thing, I definitely would do that. But if you want to try some color, but the little pop of something, that are very sheer, do this one instead, and you won't be breaking the bank. But, and, but I mean, but it is a really beautiful palette, though. How can we not throw in a palette without talking about Mama Pat McGrath? Now, I did not pick up the Bridgerton 2. I mentioned that in the last video that I was in, the Bridgerton 2 collection, I did not pick up. I cannot afford it right now. I just can't. It's just way too much for me. Um, a lot of these recommendations, I've got plenty of stuff. I don't think I'll be buying a lot myself, actually, this season. I do have some stuff in my cart, but I don't know about buying it or not, because, you know, we have, we have a choice between rent and uh, food right now at this point. <laughs> Do we have to do what we got to do? Samples? <laughs> do we have samples? Um, anyway, but this is a great palette from Pat McGrath. This is the Bridgerton. This is the first one. Um, the new one is very similar to it. It's just got more of a greener shade in it. And there's, and there's not, instead of the bluer shade, there's a little bit more of a greenish type shade in it. And there's a little bit more, the color's a little different. But it's just such a beautiful palette. Um, if you want a Pat McGrath palette and you like a little bit more of the plummies, a little bit more of the pinkies, and a little bit more of the mauvey, um, and a little bit of the little hint of like a little shimmer, a little blue, then you would definitely love this because this, this, this color is just 
absolutely stunning. You can't go wrong with anything of Pat McGrath anyway. Anything you pick up from Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona, you ain't gonna go wrong with it because I'm telling you guys, it's like anything you pick up, any kind of palette that you pick up from them, it's worth it. So, I mean, if you're gonna spend the money on it, that's perfectly fine because you're, you know, it's all of them, they're, they're mistake proof. You're gonna have a good, I mean, if you like the color story, you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna enjoy the product. So, don't worry about if you're, you don't know if you're gonna like it or not. The quality is there. So if you want a Natasha Denona and a Pat McGrath, you're going to absolutely love it. Absolutely. Definitely recommend. The YSL Lash Class Mascara. I have it on now. Absolutely love it. Definitely recommend if you like a very thickening, very volumizing type mascara. It builds volume really, really good. The Armani um, Eyes to Kill Lengthening Mascara. Can't go wrong with it. It's really wonderful if you want lint, but you want the volume, but you want a really beautiful black mascara along with like the Dior. And another one is the Rare Beauty. This is the... the um, I always forget the name. It's like, I always forget the full name of it, but this is the Rare Beauty Mascara. It's really beautiful. The wand, absolutely wonderful. It's a, it's a great wand. It's really beautiful. It gives thickening. It gives volume. It gives length. It stays on. It doesn't run. Most of these that I like, are they're water resistant. They don't run. They don't flake. They stay on really well during the day. Um, I definitely recommend any of these. They work really, really well if you're looking for a really good mascara. Um, the Tarte creaseless concealer um this is if you're very very dry you need a very radiant creamy thick but or thicker or more of a full coverage but with a radiant finish that makes your eyes glow underneath that does the won't settle too much you might have to set it a little bit because they, it is a really it doesn't really completely dry down this is a great dry eye concealer can't recommend it enough it's one of my favorites i have it in like three or four shades i absolutely love it it's great and not only that but it's not too expensive either and they've got a great shade range in it as well and then the two face this is the two face ethereal two film uh butterfly babe uh this I have all over my skin again. <laughs> I love, my skin. I love this thing. It just makes your skin just glow. It gives it this really beautiful rate with a little hint of color. I was a really addicted to this in um, January when I got it. I absolutely love it, but I do recommend this. This is supposed to be a limited edition. We'll see about that. Too Faced always says stuff limited edition, but they stick around. Same thing with Pat McGrath. She says the same thing. They're limited edition. So does Natasha Denona. So, I don't know. It might be sticking around, but definitely worth the check out. If, you, if you're looking for a really good, a little bit of a fleshy, pinky color, but a little coral in it, with a little pink, with a little glow, I definitely recommend this as an all-over powder, just to kind of like set it or just to give you a little glow all over. It's really, really beautiful. Um, but anyway, so now... After all of that, <laughs> after all that, you're like, oh my God, please shut up. We're going to go online real quick and I'm just going to go through some really, really quick new releases and just kind of talk about them really fast or if there's anything in here that I see um, that I didn't mention. Um, things that I will be wanting, things that I've got in my cart right now are the, um, the, uh, Dior highlighter and the Dior, um, bronzer. I do not have the highlighter and the bronzer. I have highlighters in the Dior show, but I do not have a highlighter in the actual luminous um, highlighter and the bronzer as well. I didn't pick those up last year whenever they came out, um, but they are, they've been on my, radar to pick up one so that's something that maybe I might pick up and then also the Fenty Beauty SPF 30 the the visor um moisturizer I love that SPF if you have really bad problems with like I do and you get really the sunscreen bothers your eyes you get it makes you itchy sometimes it breaks you out this even though it's got a little bit of a, a clean a cherry smell to it it's got a little bit of a flowery smell to it I love it it's a great sunscreen I recommend it and they're refillable they're great and not only that, but it's only $38. So if you're getting, you're saving 20%, it's a really good deal. I definitely will probably be picking this up because I've been out of it now for a while. I've been using another SPF, um, which um, I absolutely love too. But this one, I'm starting to really love. But this one is great. So this is a great one to pick up. So that's what's in my cart. Um, so now I'm going to go over to my love. So we're going to pick out, my, just look at my loves real quick. I recommend anything Charlotte Tilbury Skincare. The elixir, which is the um, the serum, is great. The serum is great. The miracle cleansing balm is amazing. If you want something, it is a miracle. It's a cleansing balm. It's a mask, um, and you can also sleep in it overnight if your skin is really dry or you just want to put something on that's very hydrating. Um, and just walk around the house with it all day long. It's great for all this multi-purpose type stuff more than just a cleanser. So it is like a five-in-one type five or six or five-in-one type balm. It's sixty dollars. It comes in a great big jar. 
are really amazing. Definitely recommend it for dry skin. If you're normal to dry, you definitely would love it. Um, you know, but they do have the little Charlotte Tilbury smell to it. So if you don't like smell, you may not like it, but it is a really good balm. I think it's online only though. So you can't get it in store. The elixir you can, but the that one you can't. Um, the other one is, of course, is my Lancome Genifique. Um, I love it. I use long, I use the Genifique twice a day. I always have, since, especially since I've started back with the company because I was out of it, you know, when I was a little bit, took a little bit of a hottest from uh, being in makeup. Now I'm back on track again with it. Um, Lancome has been, you know, very generous in giving me, making sure that I have enough Genifique. But I definitely recommend it to you guys if you've never tried it. It's an amazing serum. You can use it up underneath anything. Um, you know, uh, the 1.7 ounce is a good way to start because it's a good three to four months, um, especially if you're going to get a discount. Um, I wouldn't get the too small bottle because then you wouldn't be able to, like, it would, it would run out on you after a month and you have to get another one. But I definitely, definitely recommend the Genifique. It's more one that I use every day, day and night. People are always asking me one of the things that I'd use on my skin and that's definitely one of them. The next thing in my loves box is the, um, there's quite a few other things that I've already went over so I don't have to go over those anymore, but um, is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. If you guys have never tried Advanced Night Repair, it is the original hyaluronic serum. It came out in like 1981. Uh, Miss Lauder knew what she was doing. Absolutely amazing product. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're more of a normal to dry skin. It's actually for all skin types, so any skin type can use it. It just keeps your skin from getting damaged. You can use it day and night. It's a beautiful serum. It keeps your skin very hydrated. It's amazing. It repairs your skin. If you get burns, if you get wind burn, sunburn, it protects your skin from everything. It's really great. And it and if you do get that, it actually helps to um, heal it as well. A lot of people, whenever they um, they talk about Lemire and they talk about the concentrate and they talk about other things, remember Lemire is a lauder brand. And so the concentrate actually was... Um, coughed up around the Lemire um, broth or whatever, but Estee Lauder, the repair serum is kind of like where they got that idea from. So they're very, very similar, texture similar, the smell is similar. Even their hydrating serum, serum is basically, it's night repair. So night repair is where it's at. So if you're using any of the Lauder brands, they usually, they all have one that's very similar to the night repair. I definitely recommend checking it out. And they're actually got a two bottles where you can get two bottles and for 180, I definitely would recommend that. The Charlotte Tilbury and Magic Cream, absolutely wonderful. Can't go wrong with the Magic Cream. I think it's absolutely great. It's a great primer. It's a great moisturizer. It's a great day cream. It's a great night cream. Even though I love her night cream, but because it's very thick, it's very, it's a little bit more emollient. But the Magic Cream is wonderful. It's a staple. I am almost out of it. Um, I'm running out of it. I've been out of it and the serum for a while. But, um, or I'm, well, I still have the cream, but the serum, <laughs> the serum I've been out of for a while. But absolutely wonderful. Definitely recommend that. And I definitely recommend the Dream Skin by Dior. If you guys have never tried the Dream Skin, I use it every day. It is the last step that you do after you moisturize or after your sunscreen and you put it all over the skin. And basically what it does is it just kind of like, it is the last step in your skin. It just makes your skin look perfected, but even better. It helps with pores. It helps with texture. It helps with lines, it helps with wrinkles, it helps with age spots and brown spots, but it just blurs the skin out. It gives your skin this beautifully perfected look. So before you put any of um, your makeup on, your skin looks absolutely gorgeous. So, I mean, you know, it just and it looks great even if you don't want to wear makeup. It looks awesome. And a lot of people count it as a primer. And the word they don't like to call it a primer. It is definitely a skincare product. But, I mean, it is wonderful. You can't recommend it if you're normal, if you're dry, if you're oily, if you're combination. The guy in Mac and one of the stores that I'm in, he comes over all the time and uses it on his clients because he absolutely loves this primer. It makes all his clients' skin look really, really good. It's definitely a high recommend. I definitely recommend it. Um, just what's dropped in Sephora that right as, as of this, as of today, and this is on a Wednesday, so this isn't the Friday yet. So I know the, the Patrick Top palette is coming out on the first. I did see it on here already. It is, it is like getting, it is set up on the site. It's not up yet. The Selena Gomez tint is the, that's skin tint is coming out too. If that's something that is $29, I definitely will be doing a review on that one. That one I definitely will be because I love, I love Rare Beauty. So I definitely will be checking that out. Fenty just came out with a new um, Sunstock face and eye palette. Um, it's actually on the, it's on the site now. It has like, um, there's like five shades of bronze contour and then there's two shades of highlight in it. It's $48. I won't be picking that up. I mean, it was like, I do love Fenty. I think Rihanna does a wonderful job. Unfortunately, majority of the time, 
and I have one of her bronzers. I give away the cream one. Um, I won't be picking that one up. Definitely not for sure. Um, you know, Urban Decay has a new setting spray with vitamin C in it. I mean, a really Urban Decay with the vitamin C in a spray. But anyway, <laughs> moving on from that, I wouldn't be picking that up. The NARS uh, Blush Bronzer Duo. It's really pretty. I've seen it in person. Um, if I'm in store and I catch it, I'll try to swatch it for you guys. But it is really pretty. Um, I won't be picking it up. I'm not a big NARS person. NARS is not a company that I typically go towards. It. I really did love the Natural Radiant Finish Foundation. If you guys really want to check out that uh, foundation, it is really beautiful. It is a really beautiful. It definitely was one of the top ones that I tried in January. I really, really enjoyed it, even though I just got a sample. I never bought the bottle, but it's definitely a recommend, especially if you want something a little bit glowy. But it works great on normal combination, too, and normal to dry. So I think both of them. If you're very oily, though, I don't think you'll like it. It's way too emollient or too, it's got too much of a glow to it. I don't think you'll like it. But if you want a glowy foundation, definitely check it out. The color selection, it's a little, you got to test it. You got to be in store. I wouldn't buy it online, but I definitely would test it in store. Same thing with the Danessa Myrick. I definitely would test it in store if you can because the shades are a little wonky, but um, definitely check out that. So, no, but there's a lot of good products coming out. I have to say, Lancome came up with a waterproof Lash of Doll. Um, you know, the Dior Addict we already talked about. I mean, you know, Laura Mercy has got a tinted moisturizer blush has come out. I've already seen some reviews on that and um, it looks like it's really beautiful. It's got, she's got some beautiful colors in it. They're very natural. Um, a lot of really good stuff, guys. I mean, there's a lot in the NARS palette. Um, you know, stuff that I've kind of already went over. So I think that's pretty much wrapped up. I don't know if there's anything else I can really give you guys. I think I've given you guys so much, so many recommends, so much to talk about. The only thing I didn't really talk about was fragrance. And, um, you know, you can't go wrong with Miss Dior. Hey, let me tell you, because she's the hot seller, because it's hard to catch it. I'm telling you, like, everybody's out of that fragrance. It's crazy. Or someone that loves a little bit more of a spicy fragrance or a little bit more of a rich, earthy fragrance. Sauvage is great. Miss Dior is great. Um, there's quite a few great uh, fragrances out there. I love the Libra. I think it's great by YSL. Um, there's a lot of beautiful fragrances. But, you know, fragrance is a personal thing. You have to kind of go in. You have to spray. You have to smell. You have to kind of see or, you know, maybe even get some samples and try. And there's a lot of little mini ones to try. So, you could definitely do that, too. But anyway, guys, I'm going to link my links and stuff down below. Please, 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 if you do shop on Dior and you do it online, please, you know, use my link. Please, 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 because that helps me out. I would really appreciate it. It's all about down below. I will try to have most of these products listed down below in my box. Um, so, definitely check that out. And, you know, check out the video before this one because that will help you a little bit, too, with some of the decisions on some of the lipsticks and stuff. And, you know, with that said, guys, I am ready for the Sephora sale. I'm really excited for you guys. I hope you guys are ready to shop. And leave me down below, too, and let me know. Are you going to shop? Are you not going to shop? Is there nothing that's interesting you? Do you not want to spend any money right now? Do you have enough makeup? You know, whatever. Please leave that down below. Please let us know. And, you know, with that said, guys, I love you guys. Please take care. You know, be safe. Be strong. Be proud. Stand tall. Love yourself. And remember to um, reach out to someone today and tell them that you love them because life is too short. And also remember to be kind to someone today. A little kindness can go off a long way. And with that said, I love you guys. And we will see you again in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.